Nissan S14 manual transmission. We got this thing deep cryogenic treated, WPC treated, deburred, cleaned, fully rebuilt. Let's go. I'll leave part one in the description below. It's been a long time since part one. There's a good reason why. I think last time we were waiting on parts and then also once those parts actually came in, we were waiting on everything to send out for WPC and deep cryogenic treatment. Thank you, by the way, to CTP Cryogenics in SoCal who does all our deep cryogenic treatment and WPC treatment for anything we need. Engines, transmission, you got it, let them know. During the rebuild, what parts did we replace? What parts did we send out for treatment? Why don't we go over that? Three, four shift sleeve. One, two shift sleeve, second gear, third gear, the entire counter shaft, counter fourth gear, and then also the input shaft, which is also fourth gear. What did we replace on this guy? The gutter, which if you guys remember from part one was previously missing, <clears throat> and because it was missing, it wore out the tail shaft pushing. Three, four shift sleeve, which we also treated. All the bearings and synchros and gaskets. One, two shift sleeve, reverse gear, reverse shift sleeve, the main and counter shaft nuts, input shaft slash counter fourth gear, which we bought brand new from AMP gear and come together as a set. The counter front bearing shim we still need to order. The only way we can know what size select fit shim to order for this is when the cases are on and we do our measurement. So that's gonna happen at the end. So if you remember from last time, the gutter was previously missing in this transmission and uh, pretty obvious you can see as first gear turns, it'll sling oil into the gutter, come out the backside, and then there's a slide in the tail shaft. It keeps the tail shaft bushing, the dr front drive shaft yoke, and then also the rear output seal lubricated. Also, recap from last time, wine in all gears except for fourth. So, fresh from AMP gear, brand new input shaft. Um, input and counter fourth come as one set, so you have to replace these both anytime one or the other gets damaged. Also, sent these two items for WPC and deep cryogenic treatment. You can see that signature matte finish that the WPC treating leaves. And again, wine in all gears except for fourth, very typical that the input shaft or fourth gear set, the gear teeth are worn. And again, we got to do this at the end when all the cases are on to get this measurement, but I'd say something that really didn't help that problem was that the front select fit spacer for the counter shaft front bearing was missing. And so one more time, the spacer that goes right here is to prevent the counter shaft from doing this. And exactly as that looks, if the counter shaft's walking back and forth, it's only going to cause excessive wear on counter shaft fourth gear. And you know, probably develop into that wine that this customer had previously. This fourth gear set that AMP gear sells actually takes a different style inner pocket bearing. So beware, the pocket bearing that this transmission came with was the larger one. This fourth gear set, it's a two wheel drive. You have to count the teeth to make sure that you have the right one. Also S14 is gonna have thicker gear teeth this way than the S13. And so long story short, this new style input shaft takes the smaller pocket bearing. So um, if you're like me and you ordered the rebuild kit for this, you're gonna have to go get the small pocket bearings separately. Also remember from last time, the main shaft and the counter shaft nuts got reused. These are one-time use items. We got brand new items from Nissan. AMP gear also sells these, but they were out of stock at the time, so we just got brand new Nissan units. Torque to spec, and then also staked exactly where it should be. So let's take a look at some of these parts we treated. Very first thing on my mind, I think all of us would agree, second gear is our power gear. So on this transmission, second gear counter is part of the entire counter shaft. That's why I decided to send the entire counter shaft off for WPC and crowd treatment. Same thing in a lot of transmissions. Third gear is actually people's power gear. And you can see third is also integral or one piece as part of the counter shaft. And likewise, third main gear and then second main gear got WPC and cryo treated. Not only will these hold lube better, they'll run quieter, run cooler, be less prone to wear and shock loading, all good things. Same thing, three, four shift sleeve, one, two shift sleeve, WPC and deep truck cryogenic treated. If you imagine this sleeve sliding back and forth all the time, shifting gears, this guy has a hard life and usually experiences a lot of wear. 
the WPC and deep cryogenic treatment is going to mitigate those by a lot. Reverse gear, brand new. Also the reverse fifth gear sh shift sleeve. Uh, reverse is synchronized. You can see the synchro right there. On a S14 transmission, even though it's synchronized, reverse gets beat up all the time. Uh, <laughs> so much for that synchro, right? Out of all the S chassis transmissions, I've always had to replace reverse gear and the shift sleeve. One more thing about the fourth gear set or the input shaft. If you can imagine just the way transmissions work, power always has to go through these two gears. So these two gears have the hardest life out of every other gear in this transmission. So, you know, most important of all to help preserve the life of these gears, reduce wear, help them run cooler and quieter. Again, WPC and deep cryogenic treatment. Thanks to our friends at CTP Cryogenics. Almost forgot, brand new 3-4 fork from Nissan. Um, apparently this fork is common to break. Yeah, I haven't had, I haven't seen these broken yet, but you know, the day will come <laughs> just like everything else. One, two fork measured out, good to reuse. Same thing. The fifth and reverse fork measured out clean and yeah, perfectly fine to reuse. Bead blasted D bird, the iron center case, or I should say iron center section. Again, this transmission is destined for a road race car. I think he will be absolutely ecstatic once we get this installed and on its first track day.